The United Nations Human Rights Council has issued a lengthy document criticizing the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. The People's Republic of China, a member state of the United Nations Security Council, has made clear that it disapproves of the report. Chinese Representative Hu Chunying has declared, quote, We believe that politicizing human rights issues is not conducive toward improving a country's human rights. Sarah Flounders, co-director of the International Action Center, agrees that the manner in which human rights is discussed is extremely biased and counterproductive. The U.S. government, again, is threatening the people of Korea as they are threatening people all over the world. And every time they threaten people in any country, they do so hypocritically in the name of human rights. Chris Reith, a leader of the United Front Against Austerity, argues that when U.S. and U.N. officials condemn a government for allegedly violating human rights, there is usually much more to the story. Yeah, sometimes they talk about human rights when in reality it's about uh, economic hegemony and uh, control of finance, uh, largely through international banking. While the U.S. and its allies loudly condemn human rights violations committed by governments that oppose them, the U.S. has a long record of committing crimes and funding terrorism in order to destroy governments. In both Venezuela and in the Ukraine, Washington's policy of using paid militias and thugs, fascist organizations, right-wing organizations, to attack the human rights of the population of Venezuela and of the Ukraine, and to impose Wall Street's rule on the Ukraine to try to break it up. One of the countries that sits on the Human Rights Council is the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, a country widely believed to have committed human rights violations. China is not alone, as many are criticizing what they see as the continued politicization of human rights reports, resulting in further tension and unrest around the world. Caleb Maupin, Press TV, New York.